The following is based on true events. Names and locations have been changed to protect all involved. Ever since that night, I was different. Hey, you made it. Hey. Come on in. I've always been a determined kind of guy. But I have to admit, I went through a period of self-doubt long before coming to Cali. There was a point where all I could see were walls, like not just any walls, brick fucking walls, like three to be exact. Behind wall number one was my advancement in the league. Behind wall number two was the validation I felt I never got from my family. And behind wall number three, well, I'll get to that later. <sighs> Suffice it to say, I felt caged. But I believed if I could focus on knocking at least one wall down, then the rest might fall as well, like dominoes. So I turned my focus to football and that was starting to pay off in a big way. I remember we were playing a home game for week nine against a team with a much better defensive lineman. I mean, we barely got past the last game with Reem scoring that touchdown. But this was gonna be different. I mean, I could see it before he'd admit it, but with those guys, Reem wasn't gonna get downfield past the 40 yard line. And then, at the top of the fourth quarter, there was a fumble. He's hitting wall after wall! Get him off the fucking field! Hey! Get over here! Yeah, yeah. Find their pockets and haul ass! Move! Got it, got it, got it. I was getting more and more field time each game. Finally proving myself on the field. And it felt amazing. And I was playing different, more precise, more assured, more confident. Everyone was taking notice. I was different. And part of me knew why. Whoever sat by yourself minding your own business until this gnat comes out of nowhere and starts buzzing around you, flying into you, interrupting your peace, silent as it is, but still getting louder and louder, forcing you to acknowledge his presence. That's what I kept behind wall number three. This loud, obnoxious thing that almost sounded offended that I would try to keep it hidden. I liked guys. And... I wanted to know what it felt like to be with one. And that night, I was finally ready to knock that wall down. Can I get you a drink, a beer or something? Uh, yeah, sure, beer's good. Instead of dinner, we just decided to meet at his place. There's people, traffic, and you know, more privacy. Only I wasn't sure what the privacy was for. I mean, I was pretty sure it was for my sake, but I couldn't help but think. Was I going to this guy's apartment to fuck him? I mean, I tried to play it cool, but deep down, shit, I was excited as hell. Or maybe I was just horny. Anyway. He lived not too far from me in another high-rise near Century City. His apartment looked straight out of one of those home furniture racks where everything looks like it was bought seven years into the future. I was kind of surprised you called. Why? I don't know. I think you would. It's been, what, two months? You ran out of there so fast that night. Yeah, about that, man, I... I yeah, I, about that. By the way, I need that 20 back. <laughs> Your face. Gerard stood up and leaned back against his counter, smiling at me. Just standing there for a good minute. Hucky looked good. It was then that I realized he was waiting on me. And I could feel my body wanting him, like, really bad. You know, you look really cute when you blush. I'm dark-skinned. I don't blush. I get excited. <laughs> excited? Excited for what? A blowjob? A quick fuck? I wasn't look. You've never been with a guy before, have you? Well, why do you say that? Oh, fuck. It always happens to me. 
virgins, man. Wow, I mean, what, what, what type of shit is this, man? I'm not really the teaching type. I I don't have the patience. Well, I'm not asking you to, to teach me anything. <laughs> I'm messing with you, man. You can relax now. We can watch something if you want. He was teasing me. I watched him walk nonchalantly over to the couch and lay back. Like he didn't just play me. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to get out of there, but he had his power over me. I mean, I wanted to be close to him. Plus, I mean, excuse me for saying this, but I'm going to be real with you. I was trying to fuck on like I was hard as hell, like trying to hide it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know what else to do. I mean, so I just followed him to the couch. So it was just me and him and the TV sitting there and all I kept thinking to myself was fuck, do something, dude, man up. I mean, should I grab his dick? I mean, should I grab mine? I mean, maybe I should just say something. Hey guys, thank you for listening to Fruit Podcast. So you listen to the first three episodes of Fruit for free. And if you'd like to listen to more episodes, simply go to hal.fm enter the promo code fruit when you sign up and you can continue to listen for free if you want to participate in the discussion about fruit use the hashtag fruit podcast and tell your friends about the podcast the episodes are about to be so bomb you're not even ready for where the story is about to go you're not even ready episodes four and five are out on how right now and we're going to keep on giving you episodes weekly so make sure you go to how.fm to tune in thank you guys